Hello, my name is Joel Christ. I'm a developer with iSoft Stone, and today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough that will illustrate how to programmatically upload files to SharePoint Server 2007 from ASP.NET Web Applications. Today I'm going to be using Microsoft Visual Studio 2008 to create an ASP.NET Web Application, which will make use of the File Upload Control to allow users to upload a file to the ASP.NET Web Application, and then behind the scenes to publish that uploaded file to a document library on a separate SharePoint site. The first thing I'm going to do in Visual Studio is to create a new ASP.NET web application. So I'm going to come in here and choose to do File New Project and I'm going to do it in C Sharp. I'm going to choose to create um, an ASP.NET web application and I'm going to name it SharePoint Upload and say OK. The next thing I'm going to do is to add two import statements here. Um, to the page to pull in the system.net and system.io namespaces because we're going to make use of some classes in those two namespaces as part of our publishing process um, to upload the file to the document library on the SharePoint site. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add some markup which will implement the simple web form which uses the file upload control to allow users to upload the file to the ASP.NET web application. And then the last thing I'm going to do is to add some script to the page for our button click handler here um, that will respond to the user clicking on the button and actually do the file upload. Okay, so let's take a look at what the code does when the user clicks on the button. Uh, first thing it does is it saves the uh, file that the user chose to upload um, locally on the server, saves it to the temp uploads folder here with the name of the file. Um, goes ahead and displays some uh, statistics about the file, its name, its content type, and its length to the web form and then calls a helper method here to actually upload the file to the SharePoint site. And the helper method first um, opens up a web request on or creates a web request to the SharePoint site, the document library on the SharePoint site that we want to upload the file to. Um, specifies that the method we're going to use for the request is HTTP put, allocates a buffer to transfer the file contents and then goes ahead and opens up or gets the um, request stream, opens up a file stream on the locally saved file that the user uploaded, and then goes ahead and streams the, the bytes from the locally saved file into the request stream. Um, and then ultimately, once it's done doing that, makes the put request here by calling get response on the request object. Okay, so let's go take a look at the SharePoint site that we're going to upload our document to here. Um, right now I'm looking at the document library, the shared documents document library, which is where the document's going to be uploaded to. Um, currently doesn't have anything in it. So I'm going to come back over here to Visual Studio, press F5 to build and run our web application. Here comes our form with our file upload control and our button on it. I'm going to browse to a folder where I have a sample document that I can choose to upload. I'm going to go ahead and upload it. Uh, we display our statistics about the file. If I now come back over here to my SharePoint document library and refresh, I now see that the document was successfully uploaded to the document library. And if I go ahead and open it in Microsoft Word, Word is able to successfully open the document, so it looks like the document's OK. Okay, so by using Microsoft Visual Studio 2008, I was able to very easily create an ASP.NET web application that made use of the file upload control to allow users to upload a file to the ASP.NET web application, and then behind the scenes, upload or publish that file to a SharePoint document library by using HTTP put.